about people who've had surgery under just hypnosis. Mm. You know, the mind has got an extraordinary ability, especially to block out pain. Matthew, mm. when you were a child, I've been reading up about you, poltergeists mm. and things like that. I mean, do we believe all that? Well, it was a long time ago, John. You're going back now 35 years, but I will say it was well witnessed by large numbers of people. Especially Is it connected when I was with what you call your healing powers? I'm not sure that it is. I mean, obviously, that's where I started, but I went from the sort of spontaneous activity that occurred at school and elsewhere into getting involved in doing research work with scientists. But all they ever wanted me to do was to influence a piece of electrical equipment on the other side of the room. Could I change the voltage? Could I stop it? Could it I did, but it struck me as being particularly useless. I mean, what use is a broken computer to somebody? So then I said, I'm interested in Good being... Good fun to watch, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in, you know, doing research, but I'd mm. rather do something that has some value for people. So then I got into work influencing enzymes and blood cells in test tubes. Right, well, you're going to be very useful today because we've got Sandra, who we're talking about, uh, who's got a bad shoulder. And Sandra, you like painting, don't you? But you find it really hard work because of the pain in your right shoulder. So it's very difficult for me to hold the paintbrush up at an e when I'm working at an easel. Right, so Matthew, what can you do? I'm going to hopefully get this pain out of Sandra's shoulder so she can move that arm about and hold it up without it causing any pain. Right, just to see how far you can lift your arm at the moment, Sandra. Um, lifting forward is not so much of a problem, although I do get pain. Mm. It's getting it behind, it's going backwards. How far can you get it now? Go on. It's, well, it's painful at that well, it's painful before I get there, really. No, not very far at all. So I can it? get it further round. And what about leaving it sideways? Up, up that sideways way? isn't... I can, do them, I can do it, but it hurts. And it's hurting a lot. It's really pulling there now. Right. And it's, is there any time of day when it's, when it's worse? Um, in the morning, through the night. In Have the you morning. been to a doctor? I had um, x-rays. What do they say about it? Is it arthritis? It, it is, no. Is it rheumatism? What is it? They said it was inf evidence of an old injury, but I don't remember. No. Um, right, so maybe you fell off a it. bike or something maybe when you were, when you were younger, child. but something you can't quite remember. Mm. And Matthew, you're going to be working away all morning. Just before you go, um, is there anything that you, I mean, what sort of things do you feel that you can't treat? I don't treat any kind of psychiatric illness. Um, there are things I don't treat simply because I've got a certain amount of time in the day and I have to prioritise. Uh, right. Is well, this right up your street? <laughs> oh, is yes. this the kind of thing you yes, do? Yes, yes. Well, we will right. yeah. see. Put my neck on the yeah. Okay. <laughs> Matthew and Sandra, we'll let you get on with that. Thank you very much. Um, now, for the moment of truth, he, uh, Matthew Manning has been working away on viewer Sandra all morning. She suffers, if you remember, from chronic shoulder pain. This was Sandra first thing uh, this morning. Going back. How far can you get it now? Go on. It's, well, it's painful at that. Well, it's painful before I get there, really. No, not very far at all. So no. I can get it further round. And what about leaving it sideways up, up that Sideways way? isn't. I can do them. I can do it, but it hurts. Well, Matthew Manning has been working on that shoulder all morning, and here they are now. Oh, we need to go over there and have a look at them. <laughs> we'll just right. walk over and say hello and see how it's been going. Oh. So, Matthew, well success. Done. Well done. So how do you feel? Improved. An improvement. That's a great improvement. We've got a yoga teacher. You see, that's a yoga teacher there teaching, teaching a new position. How's that feel, Sandra? It's fine. Can you speak? It's a lot better. Is it? Yes. How much better would you say it was? Um, the hand is going a lot further up the back, so yeah. there is, um, it's much looser. Right. Pain-wise? Um, there's still a little bit, a small degree of pain there, but I mean, I'm surprised that my arm. What were you actually doing to her, Matthew? I start as I always do by um, placing my hands on her shoulder and neck. I close my eyes and I just try to get into a sort of state of attunement with Sandra. That's when then I feel what I sense there's an energy flowing through. The interesting thing was, as I was working with Sandra on that shoulder, and I've got one hand on her neck and one on her shoulder and her arm, I could actually feel the muscles start to twitch and pulse, which Sandra could feel as well. So it's like no, something was actually going on. I told you I was a skeptic. A physiotherapist could have achieved this. Uh, a masseur, masseurs could have achieved this. What is it about healing that makes it different? Why is this healing powers are not just conventional? A bit of massage on a dodgy well, first shoulder. I wasn't doing any massage. I've only got my hands absolutely flat on. Yeah. You really didn't. No, you no, really you've didn't. You've got the film of it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Sand Sandra, you can, if you just sit down and have a seat for a minute now, you lay, lay, <laughs> you sit down for a minute. And thank you very much, Tim. Thank you. Also, if you've had a problem for 10 years, and Sandra's had this for 10 years, I think probably you've gone the do route. Do you really, of really believe it was Matthew that achieved this for you? I do, yes. 
you know, my, my hand is going further up the back than it has for years. It's later on in the morning, you've relaxed a little more? No, No, it doesn't make a difference from that point. You know, of you were saying before, you were saying, I think, it, which, which way was it? It was that way that was also hurting as well, wasn't it? Yes. And sideways. How about any, those? Any movement of the shoulder hurts, right. even holding a phone. Right. So have all those movements now improved? Um... I haven't tried all of them, but certainly <laughs> the back one, which was the most difficult, going around the back, right. the hand is going further up the back than it has. I know, Matthew, we don't like to use the word cure because it's not a case of curing, but can she rely on this lasting for quite some time, or is tomorrow, is it back to the usual no. thing? That should not only last, but that should get better and better, because I always say all I'm doing is starting a process, and I know often people say, oh, I didn't feel much at the time, but three days later it's much better than it was originally, so I would expect that to continue improving. Mm. Will she need to come see you again then for a little... Hopefully not. You de it's not a course of treatment, no. in other words? If I'm with a problem like that, no, hopefully I can sort that out in one go. If it was a more serious problem, I might keep working with somebody over a longer period of time. So marvellous for your painting. You're going to be whipping them out now. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Sandra, for coming in. Thank you. Matthew. Thank you. Yes. Good. Mm. Well, I think... My hands think... are still cold, by the way, from that ice bucket. <laughs> I began a sceptic. I'm still, still a little bit sceptical, but not as much as I was. Good, good to talk to you both.